Welcome back to another flashlight review. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Ace Beam H16. This is a two-in-one headlamp and flashlight. It's a new headlamp slash flashlight that I got a few weeks ago. I've been using it out and about and I found it really, really easy to carry around. It's quite portable and yeah, pretty decent in terms of brightness. So it's the smallest headlamp that I own and after using various headlamps, larger batteries and footprints, can say this one's probably the easiest, the simplest one to carry around, especially when you've got it on your head. You can almost forget that it's there. It weighs 53.5 grams, including the battery, and it also doubles as an EDC flashlight, as I mentioned before. So it does come with this included clip here, and you've actually got to detach the light from the headlamp itself, and it comes, uh, yeah, basically just acts as one of those forward-facing flashlights. You can clip it on your bag, you can clip it in your pocket, um, something like that, and it will just face forward and provide some some light for you. So it's a nice bonus. And um, also on the back of the flashlight just here, uh, I found this out by accident, but there's a magnet. So it will actually just stick to, to anything. And yeah, especially if you're using it underneath a car or perhaps, you know, on a workbench or something like that. It's really good if you need that hands-free use. You can see the switch just on top there. You got to double click it to turn it on, which is good. It prevents accidental activation. My version comes with the 5000K Nichia 519. You can just see a bit of that inscription uh, here in the top. And the headlamp is marketed towards more runners and backpackers. If you're going on camping trips, things like that, especially with this highly reflective material, you know, if you want to attract attention and yeah, large hotspot, which reduces glare so let's talk a bit about the overall construction led lens bezel and reflector so ace beam is one of those flashlight companies that really values quality and attention to detail the h16 is refined and it has all the hallmarks of a quality light the battery tree reminds me a little bit of the pokelet aa in terms of the simple but elegant knurling also some finely fine sort of detailing on the tail cap as you can see there it's really difficult but uh it's tiny little lines just running across the back there and yeah like i mentioned you know on the back there is a magnet so the headband is high quality and you can see here it comes with all this reflective material on the sides so if you're a runner especially and um, you want cars and uh, you know bikes and things to avoid you i think that's a good little feature it's high vis sort of gear as well with this orangey color on on the back also found that there is this grippy material here on the inside of the band and this is really handy because it helps it stay on your head so that it doesn't sort of slide down. I do find when I'm when I'm running around or if I'm moving around too quickly with some other headbands, the materials just doesn't have enough grip and it moves around too much. Uh, but it, but this is really quite handy and and the good thing is that it feels comfortable as well. It's not sticky. It's just very yeah very grippy I suppose. Got breathable material. You can see here this uh, breathable material as well for those runners or just for general comfort. The switch, as I mentioned, is located on the top of the light, uh, just over here. And uh, yeah, you've got to double press it, quite a firm press as well. Okay, so it's it's not something that's gonna, see if I'm just tapping it like that, it's not just gonna turn on, which is a good thing. I don't want it to accidentally activate if it's in my bag or, or something like that. Although mine comes with the 519A, the Nichia 519A at 5000K, you can also get one in 1000 lumens and 6500K. Not sure what LED it is, but I'm thinking it's probably the Osram P9. It looks quite similar to the Pokelet uh, AA Gray in terms of the beam profile and output. So the bezel has some nice cutouts here in the back. You can see just to help with that heat dissipation, it's quite a small flashlight so you're not going to have any miracles there and i think a thousand lumens probably the maximum you want to you'd want for the output on this sort of um, this sort of host so the led is housed in a smooth reflector you can see just here under the camera uh, comes with a 14500 cell but it also takes alkaline and double a cells you can see here it's pulling it out due to the magnetism and the great thing about it as well this battery is that it comes with little charging port here. So, you know, you don't see that on too many 14,500 cells, 928 milliamp hours. This one is included with the flashlight. So if you're on the road and you need to charge it, you're not stuck 
without a, a dedicated charger. This is another headlamp that I own. It's the Next Torch Max Star, and you can see the difference in size is just night and day. I mean, that's just really the front part of it without the, the lens. And you know, obviously, with uh, you know the this one here, larger headlamps, you're going to get much more throw and uh, more runtime on those higher outputs. But this thing really weighs a ton compared to this one on the right. So in terms of overall comfort, I mean, you're not going to be using this when you're running around or, you know, just something for more convenience and comfort. You still get a decent amount of light. I think the H16 is a fantastic little option. Okay, so I'm going to go through the UI just to show you what to expect. So you can click and hold. That gives you a moonlight mode. Okay, very low. And uh, click again, turn off. And then double click to turn on. Okay, and from here you just pretty much hold the button and it cycles through uh, the three modes, low, medium, high. Okay, low, medium, high. Moonlight is lower than the low mode. And if you wanna access turbo from any mode, just double click. Okay, and there you've got, you've got turbo. You can't access turbo uh, from the off position. You've gotta switch it on first, it memorizes the last, uh, the last light setting, and then you have to double click again. Another thing you can do is that when you have the light on, you can uh, triple click to access SOS mode. Okay, so a nice little function. There's no strobe in there. Uh, you know, there's not really a use for strobe on the light like this anyway. So that's it, pretty simple and easy to use. So I did a ceiling bounce test here on turbo and you can see the light manages to hold 100% output up until one minute where it starts to fall between one to two minutes. Just after the two minute point, the light's about 35% output. And yeah, that's when I pretty much ended the test after the five minute point. So it does drop a fair bit, but it's good to know that you can get at least a minute of decent runtime out of the highest mode when you need it again. Also did some measurements from my Oppo Lightmaster Pro, measured 84 meters of throw on turbo, 5,005 K, so pretty much smack bang on the point and 96.7 uh, CRI. So very impressive and as expected with these Nichia 519 LEDs. The 519A is rated at 650 lumens and uh, the beam is really unique. It reminds me quite like the Poclet Double A beam. So it's very large, round hotspot. And yeah, I was just amazed at how smooth it looked. It's quite similar to the beam from a TIR light or even in one of those aspheric zoomable lights when you zoom it out a, a little bit. So smooth, even, and I think it's quite nice for a smooth reflector like this. Normally you get all kinds of ringiness and things like that, but I uh, didn't experience any of that at all. Some considerations you might want to know about this light. It's not as bright as other headlamps, but it's definitely bright enough for most purposes. So if you want extra brightness, make sure you get the thousand lumen version, but you're gonna be sacrificing on that color rendering index. I think that's, for me, that's not a big deal when I'm out and about anyway. I'm not trying to discern colors, especially at night. So as long as I can see what I'm, where I'm going, what I'm doing, that's the most important thing. So also another, another thing is that it takes a bit of time to detach and, uh, you know, put the light back onto the headlamp. So you've kind of just got to, pull it out like this, uh, but putting it back on is also a little bit time consuming as well. Okay, it's very sturdy and this thing is not gonna come out. It's got these uh, strong kind of rubber, uh, rubber bits here that the light grips onto, but then you can take it out, uh, attach it on to this little clip and look at that, you've got a nice tiny little EDC to carry around with you. If you're using the light mainly as a headlamp, this isn't gonna be an issue, it's just that if you have to detach it and put it back on constantly, it is gonna take more time than one of those lights that you can just pull off uh, the little holster or whatever you call it, little little uh, friction attachment on them. So yeah, overall, I think this is a very versatile flashlight headlamp. It's uh, got excellent build quality. That's one of the things I love about Ace Beam flashlights, the attention to detail, the anodization, um, the beam quality as well. I just, I love that round, smooth beam that you get on this. And, you know, when you're wearing anything on your head, I find anyway that the even the slightest difference in weight can make a difference. I can feel the difference between, you know, 100 or so grams because your neck's holding a lot of that weight. And the 
H16 feels light enough, natural. At times, I even forget that I was actually wearing the thing. So if you're interested, I've added the link to, below to the H16 in the video description. Check it out. And yeah, if you have questions, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll answer them for you. Finally, if you like this video, you found it helpful, make sure you click the like button because it helps me to get my videos out to more people. And if you want to see more light reviews, make sure you subscribe. I've got the Ace Beam H16, and this is on high. Difficult to see. Turbo. Okay, that's turbo on the H16. Great visibility for such a small headlamp as well. Look at that. If we actually cycle through the other modes, uh, let's have a look. Yep, that's low, going up, going up. Yeah, the lowest mode's kind of difficult on camera to see, but if we go, I mean, if we even just go to the highest mode that we've got on, um, two, three, okay. That is good enough to see, I mean, even up to 50 meters ahead of you, and that's going to last you a few hours. So, great little headlamp. I mean, considering it's so small as well, you really don't expect it to produce this much brightness. But of course, you've got that extra kick if you need it, like that. Um, turn it back on again. There you go. It's memorized that high mode. I'll go for a little walk and I'll show you what it looks like on the high and then turbo at the same time.